Hello and welcome to TechLink's Anaflynn Expert Developer Series. Today we're going to go over the difference between SUM, LOOKUP, and SELECT functions in Anaflynn. The first thing we're going to talk about is dimensionality. This refers to every dimension shown in a table while creating the module for the first time. You can find these while in blueprint mode or in pivot. If your source and target modules have the same dimensionality, then a straight line item reference is enough to link the two tables together. If, however, your source and target modules different dimensionality, then a formula is going to be required to create that connection. During this video, we're going to use this reference table to show what changes in dimensionality correlate with which formula we want to use. For example, as previously discussed, if the list of the source modules are the same as the ones in the target module, then a direct line item reference is all that is needed to link the tables together. For our first example, we're going to talk about the SUM function. In this case, our source module is going to have a line item formatted as a list, while the same list is going to be used as a dimension in our target module. This is a table of sales of different kinds of chocolate sent to different countries. Our transaction numbers and line items are only two dimensions in this table. Products is a line item formatted by our list of products, and consumer is a line item formatted to our list of buyers. This formatted data is very common when importing it for the first time. There are many ways to slice up this data to have it clearly show information. For example, what if we just wanted to see the total sales amounts in products instead of per transaction? In Anaplant, we have to create the output table first before entering in formulas, so let's take a look at what that table would look like. So this is the difference in dimensionality between our original and our end target. Our source has two dimensions, transactions and line items, while our targets has products and line items. However, they do share a list. Because the line item products in our source is the same list that we would use as a dimension in our target table, we are able to link them together. You can also think of it this way. If we want to display our sales by products rather than by transactions, we are going to have to sum multiple transactions together. This is the syntax for the sum function, where x is the column holding the values to be summed, y is the values that the sum is applied to or summed on, and z and so on are there to increase dimensionality if you choose to do so. This formula works for line items in a module or properties on a list. You can think of a sum function as a many-to-one relationship, and it's very similar to the sum function in Excel. So looking back at our original source table, our sum function is going to look something like this. We're going to take the sales numbers and sum them based on our products. So transaction.sales is going to go on the outside of the bracket, sum, colon, and then transaction.products is going to go inside the brackets. Entering this formula into our target module will give us the following table. So this is our end result. We can see all of our sales numbers have been summed up by products. If we wanted to add another dimension to the table, we can do that by adding another argument from inside the brackets. If you want to have additional dimensions in the table, we would just add another sum inside the brackets of the original one. In this example, I've added the location dimension and edited the formula to reflect that. Our next example is a lookup. This is the opposite situation of the sum function, where our source has a list as a dimension and our target has that same list as the formatting of a line item. This module displays the number of units sold based on country and product. If we had a long list of country and products, what would be a fast way to find the total sales of the two values? So this is what our target table is going to look like. The first two lines are going to act as our input and the units are going to be our output. Because the line item lists in the target module, match up with the dimensions in the source module, a connection can be made between the two tables. The syntax for a lookup module is going to look something like this, where x is going to be a mapping of what you want to find, and y is going to be the source of that information. You are able to look up more than one source at the same time, which would be the case in our example. All of the sources need to be line items in the current module. A lookup works similarly to a phone book, where you know a piece of the information, but you would like to know more. It works similarly to the VLOOKUP in Excel as well. Going back to our example, this formula is going to be put into our target module, where we want to find the units sold from our sales summary module 
based on the country and product put into this module. Our end result will look something like this, where inputting information into the first two rows will automatically fill in the units sold based on the original table. The last example is going to be for select, and for this case we're going to build it right on top of the second example that we just went over. Let's imagine that the table has many years worth of data in it, and when we do the lookup we don't want the formula to sum all of the years worth of information, but rather just pay attention to the values in the 2017 table. This makes one of the dimensions into a fixed value. For something where we only want to use one specific value, we use a select function. The syntax of a select function is very similar to that of the other two functions, where x is the value that you would like to use as the reference and y is the location of that specific piece of data. This again can be chained together if you would like to select more than one unrelated dimension, such as a specific time and version. Just as a note here, select functions that are used on items in a list are considered structural data. If you are utilizing ALM, this will result in an error. A workaround for this is to create an extra line item to refer to that particular member directly and then having the function refer to that line item instead of directly to the list member. As you can see, our end result will look the same, but we'll have the added select function at the end so it will only look at values from 2017 and ignore all other time periods. The other two scenarios that we did not go over are when two modules do not share a common dimensional list. These are a bit more complex and are best done with an intermediate module that shares one list from both the source and target modules. So those are all the different scenarios of when to use sum, lookup, and select functions. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions or need more information about this or any other Interplane topics, visit our website at www.techlink.com or contact our expert Interplane team at anaplan at techlink.com.